Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the biggest Windows 11 24H2 update for the main release in the month of August. This is the feature update or the update where Microsoft is announcing some new features in the main release as well because they were already announced in the release review channel a few weeks ago. In this video, we are talking about the build 26100.5074 or build code KB5064081. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest build or update for the main release and also I'm going to show you how to enable all the new features in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by Remotely. Remotely is a free remote PC access software that can help you connect easily to your computer using any Android device or another computer from any place on earth. With this software you can remotely access and control any files and applications on your PC in lag-free 4K HDR quality. You can use it for business or as a private user to watch movies or play games with your friends, help your relatives with their PCs, use your Android device as a gaming console when you commute, and so on. Connecting is as easy as pressing a button, and previous devices will be saved in your software so that you can easily connect to them again later. It also has a recording feature, voice access support, along with gamepad and custom keyboard mapping presets. Remotely uses very little CPU with a ultra strong strong connection ID and an advanced authentication system. Connect to your computer for free using Remotely today from the description below. Let's continue with the video. To get things out of the way, I'm firstly gonna mention some of the new AI features that are only present for Copilot Plus PCs. So we have Recall that now has a new personalized homepage. We also have some new features related to Click To Do with a new quick interactive tutorial and the new agent inside the settings app, basically a new way in which AI will help you find a setting that you do not know the name of. Now, Talking about normal features, first of all, I'm going to mention a feature that is currently hidden. It is not officially announced by Microsoft, but it is hidden inside the system. And this is the new copy dialog and certain other dialogues that Microsoft is adding dark mode support for. So I think that is pretty nice. So there are different dialogues that have been updated. So for example, let me just show you the copy dialog first. You can see it here. This is how the new copy dialog looks. It now supports dark mode. It is basically the same dialog, but with dark mode. I think this is pretty nice. Also, whenever you're trying to to permanently delete a file, this will also show up as dark mode. And also certain other different dialogues, for example, renaming a file that has protection is also redesigned to being in dark mode. If you wanna learn how to enable this new hidden feature, the dark mode support for certain dialogues, such as the rename or copy dialogues, stay until the end of the video, because after I show you all the features, I'm also gonna show you how to manually enable this new feature. Specific to this build, we now have the option to have this larger clock in the notification area, the system tray, taskbar, or whatever whatever you want to call it. And you can customize this by right clicking on the taskbar, going to taskbar settings, then date and time. And you should see here a setting show time and notification center. And if you enable this, you're going to be able to see this new clock here alongside with additional clocks if you have them added. Certain features were announced in the release preview channel, but are not rolling out in this build. So we can mention, for example, the new AI actions inside the file explorer or the new advanced settings homepage. Those have been postponed for a later update. There are also some improvements related to search on the task bar, for example, when searching for an image, you're going to be able to see a grid view of certain images that match the search. And also search on the taskbar now provides clearer status information while organizing your files. Again, we have more lock screen widget customization options. So if you're going to personalization and lock screen, you're going to be able to see more lock screen widget customization options. Inside the file explorer, if you right click on a file, you may notice that Microsoft has added these new dividers up top so we can differentiate the patterns better. So you can see th those are the dividers and I think that is looking pretty good. Alongside with the Micro effect, I think this is looking great. Related to settings, Microsoft has updated some dialogues here as well. For example, inside the activation settings, you go to change the product key or troubleshoot activation status. Those dialogues will also match now the Windows 11 design principles and the theme of Windows, in this case, dark mode. Also, we now have a new settings page, privacy and security, and then text and image generation, which will show you basically which third-party apps have recently used generative AI provided by Windows. And also, Microsoft is moving more options from the old control panel to the new settings app. For example, options such as modifying the AM or PM status. Inside language and region, you're going to notice device setup region, copy the current user settings and more and other options that it can, of course, check out in depth in the article below if you want. Related to the task manager, Microsoft has also improved the way that CPU utilization is showing inside different pages. And also Microsoft is improving the widgets board or the widget section for people who are using it. You may notice some differences and other new improvements. 
improvements. Other than that, Microsoft is also announcing a few fixes. You may be asking, has Microsoft announced a fix for the SSD problems? Well, Microsoft hasn't completely acknowledged that the issue was caused by Windows, but hopefully this update should fix it and people should no longer have that issue on this update. So I think we are pretty safe to say that we can install it. I've already installed it on the system and I had no issues whatsoever. Of course, Microsoft is also updating the services stack so that you can receive Microsoft updates reliably in this update. So you can, of course, check that out also. But of course, you want to see an in-depth list of all the small changes and all the small fixes that were applied. You can check out the article below in the video's description. Now, moving on, I'm going to show you how to enable all these new features alongside with the features that I showed you and the hidden feature, which is the new dark mode for copy dialogues. First of all, as always, we're going to have to set up Vive Tool on our computer. Just make sure to get Vive Tool from the article below in the video's description and make sure to get the latest version .zip. And then open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, I have here a folder in Local Disk C, Hidden Features. I'm going to select this folder. Also going to copy this location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on Extract. In this case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination. As you can see, this dialog has also dark mode support now, and this is now completely set up. Vive Tool is set up on our computer. Now open up the search box up in here, CMD, and then click on Run as Administrator. On user account control, of course, click on Yes. Here inside CMD, type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive Tool. First of all, we're going to enable the following ID that was found by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. Shout out to him. Then we're going to type in Vive Tool slash enable slash ID 57048218 and press enter. This is the general ID that basically enables everything and make sure you have this enabled. Also, all the commands that I'm going to show you in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. Now, to enable the new dark mode copy dialogues and other dialogues, we're going to have to enable four different commands. I'm also showing you the official article that I've done a few weeks ago in which I showed you how to enable the new dark mode copy dialogues, which were present also for other release preview channel, and now they're hidden in the main release. So just copy and paste these four commands. Of course, as I've said, all the commands listed and categorized will be in the article below, so you can just copy and paste them from there. So do not worry about that. Just going to copy and paste all the commands from here, and we're going to be able to enable the new dark mode copy dialogues. We have four different commands. Make sure that after each command, you receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Now, after we're done here, just make sure to restart your computer for the changes to take effect, and you should have all the new features alongside with the hidden feature, which is the new dark mode copy dialogues. So this is basically the video for today, the biggest update for Windows 11 24H2 on the main release in the month of August, and also how to enable all the new features. For more information, make sure to check out the article below, the official Microsoft blog post, or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or x.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below, and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.